everyone. Welcome to Mary Rose's Cafe. I'm Mary Rose, your crafting barista, and today's brew is a cup of peppermint mocha latte inspiration, just in time for the holiday gift giving season. And here it is. This adorable felted wool bookmark created using Paper Tray Inks products. So let's begin. To get started, you'll need the following supplies. You will need the die cuts from Paper Tray Inks stamp set, Cup of Cheer. You will need an assortment of Paper Tray Inks wonderful 100% wool felts. Today I am using berry sorbet, simply chartreuse, pine feather, and vintage cream. You will also need some DMC floss and a needle, along with a few beads, and some quick dry glue. So let's get started. The first thing you will need to do is cut out two coffee pots and two coffee cups. This will create a front and a back to your product. You're also going to need to cut out a small and large flower and a small and large leaf. Then I ran the flower and I stitched it through to the back of the coffee pot. And at the same time, I stitched the leaf to the back of the flower. Then I ran the flower and I stitched it through to the back of the coffee pot. And I, at the same time, I attached the ribbon. This just gives it a little extra stability. Then, when that was complete, I did the same thing with the coffee cup. Attaching the flower with the leaf, running it through to the back, and attaching the ribbon to the other end. When that was done, you are ready to glue the back of your project. So using quick, dry, tacky glue, I just adhered glue all over the back, pressed it, and pressed it to the back of the project. This covers up all of that stitching and ribbon that we don't need to see. I did this for the coffee pot and for the coffee cup as well. Now I wanted to add a little coordinating color to this project, so what I decided to do was use the Berry Sorbet felt and run it through the die cut machine, but I'm only cutting out the portions of the die cut that I wanted to use. So for example, for the coffee pot, I cut out the top and the bottom, and for the coffee cup, I cut out just the bottom. This just gives a little colored detail and adds a little accent to the project. I attached it with my quick glue, pressed it down, and now you can see the project is finished. An adorable ribbon bookmark that would be great to give during the holidays. You could give this tucked inside of a book or you could attach it to the front of a card as I did here. You could give this card with a gift card to your favorite bookstore or coffee shop as well. And I just stamped some sentiments on the inside that were also from Paper Tray Ink stamp set all booked up. Here you can see the project done in different colors as well. Really, your possibilities are endless. If you have a tea drinker that you would like to give this to, I would recommend using Paper Tray Inks Stamp Set and Dyes Tea for Two. Thanks so much for visiting the cafe today. I hope you're fully caffeinated, full of inspiration. Blessings on your holidays, everyone. Bye.